Welcome to Mark Bayeski YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about a fascinating subject that is Moldavite. Moldavite is one of my favourite crystals, which isn't a crystal, it's a meteorite of course. Half of you are now saying it's not a crystal! Yes, but I have worked with it and I'm probably one of the few who have worked with it for so many years as a healer. So let's talk about it. First question. Love my Moldavite, Mark. Um, it did so many good things. It was amazing. Um, as of late, however, um, it doesn't work. Its power, its power just isn't there anymore. Um, what it did for me, three or four people have said the same thing actually. I'm reading from three or four people. What it did for me was, no words can describe. Uh, somebody else says, the power just changed my body completely. I'd never felt anything like it. So now basically the question is, why isn't it working? And what can I do to make it work again? It's a great question. As a healer, when I first started working with one particular piece, which was from Maliklum, it was uh, a teardrop and I worked with it probably about three months every day and I was getting some great information, some real healing work, a lot of detoxing. I was feeling sick for many days, uh, clearing out all the trauma, all the spiritual issues that were blocking my path, uh, also physically, and uh, we're gonna talk about the physical stuff in a minute. Until the day came where um, I started feeling um, completely different. And for some reason, the crystal didn't feel like it was working anymore. This is um, a myth. And in actual fact, what's happened is that the Moldavite worked and did its magic. It actually did what it needed to do. So therefore, whatever healing process, whatever detox, whatever spiritual um, blocks, issues, traumas needed to be healed, it's done its work and therefore, the feeling that was so profound at the beginning was the healing and cleansing and detox effect. That's the Moldavite effect. So it targets where it needs to target straight away. Many effects can happen from the Moldavite working on you. So you can feel hot straight away. That's a, a, a flush, detox flush instantly. You can raise off the ground, which means that you were too grounded and you needed to lift a little bit and you were blocked from the connection of spirit or the connection of the extraterrestrial energy. Therefore, many, many things can happen. Once that the Moldavite has worked in that particular way and searches your body and, and, and I, I kind of say a Moldavite to me is like you drive into a, a car showroom and there's a couple of lights that are all weird on your uh, screen and you don't know what they are. The guy brings along a machine, imagine it's a Moldavite machine, and they plug it into your car, same as plugging it into you, and then it gives a diagnostic of what's gone wrong. So Moldavite does that. It basically targets the things that have gone wrong and fixes them. Once they're fixed, the body is fine and then you now need to um, start to use your body. You need to start to uh, think for yourself. You need to start to in tune to your own uh, intuition and, 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 and start to grow in a spiritual effect. Moldavite isn't there to hold your hand in the sense that it's gonna guide you to every step of the way. It's just going to help you on that, that point, what needs help for you then to be the most powerful crystal in the world and start doing what you're meant to be doing. It's not there to teach you anything. It's there to cleanse and clear you and help you connect so that you become the connection, you become the healer, you become the, the detox body that you're meant to be and spiritually speaking as well. Mark, what do I do with it to now make it more powerful? There's nothing you can do with it because it's always going to be powerful and it, and it will stay powerful forever. However, you change. So you change from one week to the next. So take, for instance, my clients and myself. I have a break from Moldavite. 
and then I get on with my life and whatever happens, whether I, I make a mess of my life, I do silly things, I eat the wrong things, and then you put the Moldavite back on in a few months and then boom, back again, doing its work. So I would say on a really, really positive note, that if you're not feeling anything from Moldavite, it means that the Moldavite has said your body's okay, you now start getting on with the work. There is another side to Moldavite where you start to attune into this extraterrestrial energy and it means that you need to cleanse the room, you need to get the music ready, you need to, you know, get ready for a nice beautiful healing light ritual of any type. And you sit down and then you start to do the work. You take the Moldavite and then it will activate in different ways. So the, the Moldavite doesn't activate you in certain ways because you're walking on the street. You have to prepare yourself and use it as a, an amulet, as, as a, a tool, and you use it at certain times for certain reasons. These things that you're gonna have to figure out yourself. The Moldavite will always kick in when you kick in, when you request, when you start to uh, go into that next level of uh, working with Moldavite. I often tell people to just leave Moldavite on and let it do its work. And that's true. And the reason why is because I don't want you to be thinking, oh, it's not working or I don't know what's wrong with me. Just leave it. Let it be. Okay, you felt something. So what? You felt something because the Moldavite's working, just like many other crystals. But Moldavite is definitely there to heighten your awareness. After that, it's up to you to then move forward. So that would be my answer to that question. And uh, just on a final no, that's a powerful thing that you're on. So what I did with my teardrop is I just left it for three months, two months, and get, went back to it and then boom, back again. So I hope that answers your questions. That was beautiful from three or four different people. Uh, this is an interesting one. Um, I wear Moldavite and why is it that people are nasty and uh, awful around me and why do I see them for who they are, I feel paranoid. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not Moldavite per se. It's you, The Moldavite is heightening your awareness and brightening your energy. And you know, there's a mirror image effect of Moldavite. And that is people um, see themselves for who they truly are and they can get very angry very quick around you. Um, does the Moldavite uh, do this? Does it? It's, there's multiple things happening at once with Moldavite, but whenever I'm in a situation where somebody reacts really uh, strange, there's, two, there's a twofold energy here. One, it could be spirit world helping you, and two, it could be the Moldavite that has changed your frequency you, so you've become stronger, and the other person doesn't realize that they're feeling that energy, and feeling the frequency within the Moldavite as well to cause a reaction which isn't always the most positive reaction. However, Moldavite can actually cause a great reaction in others too. It can be fantastic. So there's yin and yang in everything. I like to look up and say thank you, or I like to grab hold of the Moldavite and say thank you, and you may ask why. Well, I'll tell you why. If that person came up to you and was nice to you because they weren't affected by the Moldavite or your energy. And then you became friends with them. And after a few months, you invested yourself in them, whether you went into business with them, whether you became good friends and all of a sudden their true colors come out. Then wouldn't you prefer that people presented themselves as they truly were right at the beginning? So then you can make your decision whether you want to be their friends or not. So the worst case scenario is that person becoming the worst case scenario. Now it's up to you whether you want to um, continue on their path on journey with them or not. So I see it as a blessing. When I first started this work, within five years, people were walking around with me and having a coffee and saying, wow, that person was horrible to you. And I'd say, yeah, because it, it's spirit's helping hand. They're showing me who people truly are, so I don't need to enter into a relationship or a conversation with them. It's just great, it's done, thank you very much guys, and I'm on my way. And it was and it was true to say that one person that I remember, uh, Daniel, walked up to this guy when I walked away and said, why did you 
why were you so nasty to that guy? And he says, I have no idea. <laughs> so Daniel said he didn't even know why he was nasty. And I said, yeah, because this is what happens. Spirit sometimes is very kind and very caring and helps us. So I see it as a bonus. Uh, a real beautiful thing. So yes, Moldavite does that. And you do get knee-jerk reactions. You get uh, reflection energy. You get nasty people. But I say it's a protection. Definitely. Um, okay, so this person has eaten junk. This person has taken in a lot of sugar as of late. Um, basically, the Moldavite uh, doesn't really want to be anywhere near me. That's what they're saying. And uh, when I ignore that, I have weird dreams. That's a really interesting subject. And I've heard this before from <clears throat> quite a few people who said that when they were on a healing path, they started feeling really good and then they slipped. And then all of a sudden uh, it felt like it was a betrayal to the Moldavite and they felt bad and, and there wasn't a connection anymore and the Moldavite was unhappy with them you do actually become um, very connected and very close to a Moldavite. And I know this sounds crazy, but I believe Moldavite is alive. I believe it's a living entity. And I believe it, it can feel you and it can share its energy <clears throat> of healing as well as disappointment energy, as well as um, uh, joy energy, power energy. So it's not really like the Moldavite's upset with you, but the Moldavite is trying its best to heal you. And then when you slip, it then has to kick into action again. And the thing is, what, what people really struggle with is that they think that Moldavite is causing them issue when they wear it, when they've, they've, they've kind of slipped and they've been awful to somebody or they've eaten some bad food. When in actual fact, the Moldavite is now trying to cleanse you and clear you of the, the sickness, the, de the, the poisons that are inside you. And sometimes what happens is when that, when that detox take, takes place, we can have some weird side effects from Moldavite and the cleansing. And lots of people will say they have to lay down, sit down, they feel exhausted. Some people say that they have weird dreams. Some people talk about some kind of, this has happened in one of my, this is why it's rare, but it's happened in one of my circle nights. Somebody went into a, like a, a weird state and a lot of people were really good enough to go over and hold this lady and take care of her. And then she woke up and she said, what's just happened? What happened to me? And sometimes these things can happen with Moldavite. And, uh, but at the end of it, you always feel better and you're always cleansed. But I think the Moldavite definitely takes you through the process of trying to heal you quicker than a very gentle, natural way. It's more of a, a jet wash of, uh, uh, it's, it's the biggest jet wash of crystals, just like sage is the biggest jet wash of your energy. So I don't think it's a bad thing. I would continue wearing it until the dreams have gone, until you <laughs> stop eating junk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a good, I mean, that just that in itself tells you that Moldavite actually loves you and cares. <laughs> it's like your mum saying, stop it. Uh, Mark, as a healer, can you detect someone wearing um, a Moldavite, even if it's covered up? You know, that I'm not a healer anymore per se. I work with crystals um, on a daily basis, but I don't work one-to-one -one with clients. Therefore, I can't say I could right now. However, there's been times that I actually, when I was doing the work full-time as a healer, I actually walked into a shop once, which wasn't even a shop which sold crystals, and I knew there was a Moldavite in that shop. So uh, at the time when I was 100% doing healing sessions every day, uh, doing psychic readings, I was very attuned, very attuned. And there were times that I felt people's energy. And I think maybe once I said, are you wearing uh, a crystal around your neck, not seeing it or in your pocket? And I think the client said, yeah, and it was a Moldavite. But I've done that with other crystals as well. I felt other crystals on them. So I don't think it's anything like, um, you know, and, and yeah, there's been times that people have said to each other, oh my God, you're wearing a Mark Bayeski crystal and it's more powerful than other crystals. I don't particularly see that. I think all crystals are powerful, but some have different energies. And the way I work with Moldavite is 
I have to have the Moldavite between one and 10 hours now. Before it used to be maybe 10 and 50 hours, but I can't do that. I work with crystals all the time now and people are buying them so much that I normally work with them between one and 10 hours, something like that. The energy that I put into those crystals are very personal. And what I put into it is in the moment. So I have no idea what I'm about to channel when I'm holding it and calling for the energy. But when it's done, I then write it down and then put it on my website. And not always, not always, every crystal that I work on, I don't always write down what I've channeled because sometimes I enjoy the fact that somebody sends me a message almost five times a day telling me what that crystal did for them and how different it was from the other crystal that they worked with, which was this, uh, a similar crystal. So yeah, I think that's it really. I hope that's answered some of your questions. Um, I kind of feel like I haven't finished yet and I feel like I'm missing something. And I know that I want to tell you about the, um, the amazing uh, raffle that's, uh, uh, that's about to um, end at the end of this month. You know, guys, I've worked with thousands of Moldavites and each Moldavite is extremely powerful, extremely unique. But I think that you are more unique in the sense that it isn't that I'm buying 10 Moldavites because they're all serving a different purpose. I believe that they, are, they all have the memory of where they've come from. So they all contain that amazing energy. I believe that as you heighten your energy, Moldavite attunes to that and height and then becomes even more powerful. So it's a bit like the more powerful you become, the more powerful the crystal becomes. That said, I also believe that Moldavite um, is the opposite, yin and yang. So the more weaker you become, the more it heals you and becomes more powerful. So as you become stronger, it, it becomes stronger. As you become weaker, it becomes stronger again. So it's always a positive. It's always working either or in that really, really high frequency energy that if you just take the time and start to walk the path of your trueness, of your purpose, of why you're here, and that's an inward path, then you'll soon start to open up to different experiences with Moldavite. Moldavite doesn't really stop working. It only stops because you stop. And it really is the truth. Because sometimes we think that Moldavite's going to fix us, do this, do that, and then nothing happens, then you stop. But actually, Moldavite's there to, to walk, kind of like just to, not to walk with you, but just to be with you, for you to to move forward, move, go stronger, or even get weaker, and then it's there to help. So, like, I, I've had some Moldavites that when I started doing shamanic work, it was like, it was the most powerful talisman tool that I ever worked with. Just blew me away in so many ways. Sometimes the Moldavite actually burnt, felt like it burnt my um, palms when I was working with it, doing the work. Why? Because I was in... I was in the, the, the presence of, of great spirit, of shamans. I was in the presence of my awakening, of me becoming stronger because that was important at that time. And I took that away with me and brought it into this room. So like just now, I, I've cleansed this room with, with um, Moldavite incense sticks. I, I, you know, I cleansed the room and heightened my energy. And now I'm about to start the work on my crystals. I've got, um, you know, uh, some beautiful crystals over there that I'm just about to work on. I need my energy high. I need to invoke a powerful energy into the crystals which add a new memory that makes you feel great. And that's why a lot of you say, wow, your crystals are amazing. I felt them before I even bought them. Yeah, because it's not just a crystal. You're connecting with me. You're connecting with a crystal and you're connecting to the energy that was passed into the crystal through the universe and the, the spirit world. That means that you've now got a connection and, and it's now working instantly. And again, people think this is crazy, but you know, look at all my messages. Look at the thousands of messages that say, when I've said, 
you know, oh, there's a, they've said, oh, I've just bought a crystal off you. Why am I tingling? Why am I feeling this? Why am I feeling that? Because you've started to connect with it. It's already working. There is no space and time. But this is, this is the subject that people just think is hocus pocus. They have no idea unless you're experiencing it at that moment. It's incredible. It really is. And it's, it's something that can't really be explained and only felt. And like you trying to explain that to somebody, it's like, this guy's a nutter. But that's the way it is. And I actually don't care what people think. I know my experience. I know my truth. And not one single person can laugh at me to make me think there's something wrong with me. I just laugh at them and think, you know what? It's a shame. There's so much magic in this world. And you're just walking, eating, drinking, machine. You can keep it. Take care. See you later. I'll stick with my Moldavite and my crystals because I'm growing stronger every day. I'm peeling a new layer off my onion body. I cry a lot. I feel better. I am experiencing things. I'm understanding things. I'm connecting to things. I see things every day. My senses are becoming heightened even more and more. And uh, it's not always a good thing because you have to then, you know, take a a real good look in the mirror again. Most people don't even look in the mirror. They're too busy chasing their tail. So there you go. So I'll finish on a final note. If anybody goes to markbyersky.com, which you do every day, and you make a purchase of um, a crystal, any crystal, you'll be entered into a raffle at the end of this month. And that is for this, which is one of the most beautiful Moldavites in the world. It actually should be in a museum because it is a museum piece. And some of you have already seen it, but I'm gonna show you again. Okay, the only way to show you is like this. There you go. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, my hairs on my head are tingling. <laughs> yes, that is one for anybody's collection. It's a rare, rare piece. So this is um, a Moldavite from Besanice, from the Czech Republic beautiful little town that I visited often. Hedgehogs are desirable, not only to people who love Moldavite and work with it, but it's also desirable for people who love collecting specimens. And that, my dear friend, is one of the most beautiful specimens of Moldavite in the world. Perfect. No mark at all. No chips. Just how Mother Earth created it. It's incredible. Mother Earth is amazing. She creates the cavices and everything, but the main Moldavite, the power, the energy within that is literally out of this world. Motorbikes are driving past. I think it's a good time to uh, switch. Can you imagine? I live on a, a magical whitewash mountain and you've got motorbikes seriously I mean just go somewhere where it's a city but not a little magical mountain come on guys <laughs> oh, hell's angels <laughs> no they're heaven's angels alright guys love you all don't be judgmental Mr. Bierski <laughs> All right, I'll leave the link below for this uh, draw. So yeah, just go to Mark Bayerski. Oh yeah, there's also, you get one ticket for one crystal. You can buy as many crystals as you want and you will get another ticket for each crystal. So buy 10 crystals, you get 10 tickets, more of a chance of winning. But there is also the offer, there's a special offer for the Moldavite Awakening Dust Sticks incredible the set of three sticks if you buy um, a set of them you will also have a raffle ticket which will go into the ball over there for this coming month's raffle i hope you enjoyed this moldavite conversation with me i hope to do a few more in the coming future i'm enjoying it very much if you've had any questions at all about moldavite and i haven't answered it please fire away below i am always happy to talk about it if i don't know 
uh, what the question is. I don't understand it. I've never experienced it. I'll just say I don't know. But if I do, I'll write it down and we'll continue because I enjoy it. I mean, working with Moldavite for so many years, I've got so much to offer. And this Power of Moldavite, the book that's coming out hopefully very soon, you're going to read some amazing stuff. It's going to blow your mind. All right, guys, thank you so much. Get back to work, eh?